talking about Zillow. Admit it, you've probably perused Zillow, gone wild homes, or maybe mm -hmm. scrolled through the, you know, kind of over the top homes on Lake Minnetonka. It's fun to look, right? It's look fun. at those Dream. photos, those yeah. crazy <laughs> houses. Well, this morning, we're taking you right inside the doors of some of the most extravagant new builds in the area. Shane Wells joins us with just a glimpse of the Midwest Home Magazine's luxury home tour, an inside look. Hi, Shane. Good morning. We are taking you right inside. So earlier we were in Minatrista where they have 35 acres, you know, a lot of space to kind of do whatever they wanted to do with it. This time we're in Linden Hills in Minneapolis. You got homes on both sides, so a really different feel, but still a beautiful home that does a good job of illustrating what's really hot right now in new builds and construction and home design. We have Tim Murphy with us. He's with EHR Construction. And uh, this is home number three on the tour. Give us a little description of this spot. Yeah, so we call this the Modern French Tudor. And we are in Linden Hills, Minneapolis, which is a fantastic neighborhood in Minneapolis. And the great thing about building in Minneapolis is that you can build just these fantastic one-of-a-kind homes. But the difficult thing about building in Minneapolis <laughs> is that you're building on these small little postage stamp lots. And even more difficult is that we're building into a hill. Sure, so a few challenges, but then you always come through and this is a really beautiful space. We're looking in the kind of living area, kitchen. Tell us about some of the things that were kind of must-haves and, and new construction and new design. Yeah, so I mean, with this house, one of the key features that really differentiates it from everything else is the arches. The arches were one of the key French pieces that we added to the house. The countertops, as people are coming through the house, they're always asking me about these countertops. These are called Florida Wave countertops, and these are more of a matte oh, finish countertop, yeah. so people are loving it. Um, the other thing that's one of the hottest trends is the white oak. So as you can see, we have white oak absolutely everywhere. The <laughs> counters, the floors, the railings, the stairs. Um, so we definitely check that box. Love it. I was just reading too how one of the big things people want, they still want an open concept, but then they want areas that they can sort of cordon off. And you have one of those. Yeah. What do so, people take on this and what's it going to be used for? Right. And so when you come in the front door, everybody's looking at this going, oh my gosh, this is really cool. What are you doing here? <laughs> and what we're really trying to do is uh, sanction off a little section of the house. And we're calling this the four season room. Okay. And what we did though, is we didn't want to lose the open concept. So that's why we use the glass, but the glass also brings a modern feel to it. Um, but we call this a four season porch and it's different than anything else that you would see in most homes when you consider a four season porch. So you can open all those doors, shut this. Yeah, so those kind of doors just out. open double. And okay. so it's like that inside outside feeling. Sure. Fantastic. Now for the tour, if you want to come through and talk to, I mean, the nice thing is you or somebody representing the companies are going to be yeah. in all these homes. So you can kind of fire off a lot of questions at them. Yep. What's the thing people are most like ask you the most right now? Um, right now, I would say, what is it like to build in Minneapolis? Okay. I, people that are really seriously considering building a home like this, they want to know what's it like to build in Minneapolis. And there's a lot of demand in the Minneapolis area. And I would always, t I always tell them that we love building in Minneapolis because we can build these one of kind homes. But there are some challenges just because there's a lot of restrictions and we're literally doing infill development. So we're building in an area that's already been developed. Sure. So, you know, people want to know about that. How does that work? What can I do? Yeah, yeah, what's possible? Love it. If you guys want to check out the luxury home tour, it is happening this weekend and next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 6. And you can learn more, get your tickets, check out all the homes. There's 10 featured homes at luxuryhometour.net. And one other thing, in the next hour, we're going to pop out to Minatrista. So we'll show you kind of a, a differing home in that the land is completely different. <laughs> right. A lot more land. Yeah. I'm sure. Well, that's cool. cool. I you love know, the archways. I do too. Cool. Uh, it's good to see, yeah. you know, they're making good use of s small spaces and what, you know, what's possible. Right. Very cool. Shane, sure. thank you. Yeah. Now you don't